The African Bank Sunshine Tour Championship got underway on Wednesday here at Glendower Golf Club. One of the early starters, Martin Rower, cashed in on near ideal conditions. He carded seven birdies in a blemish free 65 to grab the outright first round lead. I played solid the whole day to be honest. Um, there was no wind this morning so if you hit the ball on the fairway you could really like attack the pins. And I actually missed a few a few putts early on, um, but then my caddy just told me to stay patient and managed to make some coming in and yeah, shoot 65 first round, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. Lyle Rowe came closest to matching Rowe. He was four groups behind him, but also enjoyed the best the day had to offer. He got off to a flying start with five birdies in his first six holes. The Port Elizabeth native struggled to adjust to inland winter conditions last week, missing the cut at Killarney, but he was back to his best with an opening 66. Coming from the coast, conditions are very different. They're softer, they, I mean, fairways are softer, the greens are softer. Um, so uh, yeah, it definitely makes a bit of a difference. Um, but I mean, there's no excuse for the golf I played. So yeah, it's nice to obviously get a decent score uh, under the ball. Jaden Schaefer was in the third last group out on Wednesday and posted comfortably the lowest round of the afternoon. He mixed six birdies with one dropped shot in a round of 67 for a share of third place. It's a good solid first round score. Obviously not, oh, I'm, I'm happy with the score that I put out, but I mean, did leave a few out there and those were all, all stuck in my mind a little bit, but I mean, yeah, I'll get out there tomorrow and just continue with what I left, what I left where I left off and hopefully hold my putts. Yeah. The shot of the day belonged to Jake Redman. An eagle two on the 18th hole helped propel him to a two under 70 and a share of 16th. It's about 95 meters. I knew I had to land it behind the flag. Um, it's, the greens are so quick and you just get a little bit of spin on it and you, it's going forever. So I played for about 100, 105 and I just hit it perfect. Never left the flag. Uh, landed about probably 15 foot behind the flag and just spun back in perfectly. But it took so long to go in. Um, I, I, I couldn't see the bottom of the hole where where I was hitting my second from and uh, I just walked up and by the time I got up I actually watched it go in so it was pretty cool. Daniel Fantonda, Heinrich Brainers and Oliver Becker joined Schaefer in a tie for third after 67s. Four golfers are a further shot back on four under including last week's winner Darren Fichart.